Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Tom Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be directly comparing Mi 6, Probot, Yagbadebadus, uh, and Sapphire Bot as well to help you find the best bot to moderate your Discord server. Now, why do I know what I'm talking about? Well, I've been using Discord, I think, almost back when it was created. I remembered because at the time I lived in the Bay Area, which is where the developers were at the time too. I even knew some people who were applying to the company, and this was before Discord even got big. Since then, I've been a huge proponent of Discord, using it almost every day. I've created probably six or seven servers with it, and moderated huge communities as well. So yeah, I have plenty of experience moderating Discord and using various bots as well, uh, especially in a community that there's a lot of trolling and stuff like that where people are using VPNs. So yeah, I know what I'm talking about. Additionally, I kind of have a different uh, perspective than some people here on YouTube. I've seen some haters for some specific bots kind of for, our, for arbitrary reasons saying, you know, oh, this company just wants to make money or something like that. Well, at the end of the day, a lot of companies want to make money and as Discord has gotten bigger, so to have the bots and companies developing them with more features and everything like that. So if a bot is just trying to make some money or something like that, well, it's not necessarily a bad thing in my opinion. Not only that, but just to be transparent, almost every single bot that is successful and has a lot of users is trying to make money in some way. And most of the, the monetization aspects are very similar, which we'll also discuss in this video. All right, guys. So Hey guys, as you might know on Discord, sometimes you can have your privacy violated. Maybe someone found your real name and thus was able to find your real life address, phone number, stuff like that, and they started spreading that around. Well, fortunately, there are services out there like Incogni. Now, I'm not sponsored by Incogni, but it is a daily product I use and I'm an affiliate with them. Incogni does the work for you. It will remove um, your information on the internet. So in case someone finds your real life name or if it's happened already, it's going to very quickly scan all the data broker websites like white pages and those kind of websites to remove your information. Incogni is one of the cheapest data removal services as well. Compared to other services like Delete Me and those kind of things, Incogni is much cheaper. It's only around $77 a year, and you could even use my promo code TOMSPARK to get an extra 10% off. So if you like this video and want to help support the channel, but also want to get a good product, check out Incogni. It's a great help for Discord to keep your privacy secure so no one can find your real life address, phone number, and those kind of things. It's even good to get for a loved one or a friend as well if you're worried about their safety and privacy online. Which Discord bots am I talking about in this video? Uh, well, I'm going to be talking about some of those most popular bots out there. Now, if you go on Discord and you look for some of the bots you want to add to your server, you'll find stuff like Probot. I think this is like the number two bot. You'll find stuff like Me6, uh, which is right here. This is like my account panel, but we can go to the main thing if I log out like this. Um, so here we are at Me6. Here's their website. And we also have stuff like, uh, well, this is Me6 again. We have Yagpada. This is the one I was making the joke about in the video. It has a really weird name. Um, additionally, we also have things like Sapphire. Now, I found Sapphire after watching some other Discord-based YouTube videos. Uh, people talking shit about Me6 saying, hey, go use Sapphire. It's just completely better. It's completely free. And it can do everything you want. But is that really true? Well, first off, I do kind of want to talk about that right away. Uh, because... Sapphire does have its own form of monetization. Like I said in the beginning of the video, a lot of bots do have their own form of monetization. And it's not always as cut and dry as you might think choosing the one that is better. Sapphire on its own might be a very strong bot, but if you want to take it to its fullest potential and do some of the coolest things with it, for example, have its own name, have its own profile picture, and kind of have that cool personalized bot experience, you're actually going to be paying quite a bit. And as far as I could tell, um, it's five euros a month in per perpetuity but also not only that but you also have to pay for the server based on your server's side so that's something to think about it can also be even more expensive than five dollars a month so and that's more like seventy dollars a year i think if you convert it to euros so seventy dollars for one year of this now me six on the other hand can pretty much do the same things and it even has some more things it can do lately um, with some of the updates but the thing with Me6, how the hell do I look at the pricing page? I don't know. 
anyways what i was talking about though is sapphire will be 60 to 70 dollars a year if you do want to unlock the full option and have the personalized bot experience where something like me six is actually going to be cheaper for around 50 dollars a year and 90 dollars for lifetime which is the package i have and do recommend since i do think it is a good deal um, now i'll be putting a link in the description down below as well as a potential discount code for you get that even cheaper so there you go but like i said with sapphire it could be a very good bot um, i'm kind of comparing it as if it can do the same things um, from what i've seen about it it does kind of have a me six kind of vibe but slightly different it's definitely smaller and has less people using it but again this custom rounding thing is something to think about when choosing sapphire because i do think me six is actually a better deal um, even though people will say sapphire is much better than me six since it's free and everything like that um, but they won't be talking about this really now guys, next up we could talk about something like ProBot. Now ProBot isn't really that much different than Mi 6 in terms of its premium level. Now ProBot is pretty okay. Um, I find it very similar to Mi 6, you can see it here. I did test premium for around a couple of weeks, but the problem with ProBot is I found that it kind of creates like a separate bot that's the premium version and you invite it to your server your server and i've found that in the past this can mess up roles and stuff like that and it can't really assign roles as well as some other bots out there like me six that just work a little bit smoother so in totality it's very similar to me six i mean all these bots at the end of the day um kind of have a similar interface and stuff like that and similar features you know leveling moderation and stuff like that um so pretty similar overall but again i do think that the nature of having to invite a premium version of the bot is kind of a clunky thing and kind of create issues um, with some of the features um, that I've noticed in the past. We have something called Yag Pada, and I've tested this one extensively. Um, this one, I've had my share of issues with as well. For some reason, um, the, the notification feature always seems to glitch out. I'm not really sure why. Um, it's a little harder to add it. With Me6, there's like a nice way to kind of search and find the channel. This one, you kind of have to paste the channel ID, I think. And it just kind of has errors with always updating videos. I'd like to update my discord members when there's a new video and i've had issues with that one that said it is pretty good but just like some of the other bots if you do want to get the most of the features you are going to have to pay for premium once again um so the full list of premium benefits is just a couple of different things um i did find i never really found it like that necessary uh to use premium from yagpada but also I did find that the base experience wasn't quite as good. Um, it wasn't quite as intuitive as something like Mi 6. So you kind of get what you pay for in that sense. You know, Mi 6, I do think is a little bit more limited with the free version than something like Yagpada. But Yagpada's, uh, Yagpada, uh, its interface is a lot more clunky and hard to use. I could kind of show you an example here if we kind of invite it to my server. Hate these captures fucking a which one is the apple all right so anyways guys this is yank and we're gonna go to the thing so as you can see here it's definitely not as good as like a, a user interface you have the basic toggles and stuff like this um and you could do the basic things um but i just just kind of found that it wasn't as easy to use um and if you go to me six and you could just kind of tell it's definitely more user friendly um you could just tell by the way it looks look at this and look at this look at this and look at this so you know we could do things like moderation with me six uh we'll go to moderator and it kind of has this very simple system here just delete and warn um a couple automated act actions which i do like but if we go to the auto moderator here um there's a lot of different qualifiers and stuff like this which can be confusing to set up um uh, there's definitely a lot of control here but i find a lot of it's not really necessary what happened with this bot a lot is i would set different parameters and people would have issues in my server so it's definitely a lot more clunky uh, to set up in that way um additionally i found that the um i don't think it had i don't think this one has like a way to assign roles based on levels um uh, yeah there's a reputation enabled um, this is kind of like if you want to thank someone but i don't think this one had any system for like leveling and whatnot and you know me six has always been the de facto one for that and i have had no issues with that um and as you can see here the level system for for my server i have different rewards so that's really nice um one other thing i really do like about me six is just this new automation feature so i've created this really cool automation basically what will happen if if i if i see someone's trolling 
I'll give them a certain role. This automation will automatically take away um, all their other roles and access to other channels. And I will place them in a jail and post a funny meme, which is kind of funny and give them a message on, you know, being a bad boy. So overall, I do really like this automation feature and I don't think any other um, Discord bot is really has that feature nowadays. So guys, at the end of this video, I think I gave a pretty good overview on some of the different bots out there in terms of moderation and stuff like that. I do think my favorite is Me6. It's premium option, especially a lifetime is an amazing deal. If you hear people talking shit about Me6 saying, you know, oh, Sapphire is better. Well, consider that you probably are going to be paying more to get the same things, especially with that customization of the bot, which in my opinion is kind of mandatory if you have a big server since it makes it look really badass. Yagpada is a pretty good bot for the free version. However, it's much less user friendly and clunky and doesn't contain all the features you might need. Um, another good bot, Probot is decent, but it just kind of feels like a shittier version of Mi 6, it has more errors and is less and is more clunky to set up and is around the same price overall. Anyways, guys, those are just my thoughts and opinions. Let me know down in the comments down below what you think, and I'll see you in the next video very soon.